Welcome to our journey through the golden era of television and cinema. Today, we're diving into the lives and legacies of some of the most iconic actors who brought the Wild West and dramatic landscapes to life on our screens. From the dusty trails of tombstone territory, to the gripping narratives of Hollywood's finest, these stars left an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Join us as we explore the careers of Jack Elam, John Denner, Angie Dickinson, and Denver Pyle. We'll uncover their most successful roles, prestigious awards, and the unique storytelling tones that made them stand out in an era of cinematic giants. From the rugged outlaws to the strong-willed law enforcers, these actors brought depth, charisma, and unforgettable performances to every role they played. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this nostalgic ride through the annals of classic TV and film history. 1. Pat Conway, 1931-1981. Biography and Career. Born on January 9, 1931, Pat Conway is best remembered for his role as Sheriff Clay Hollister in the television series, Tombstone Territory. Conway, the son of Hollywood actor and director Jack Conway, entered the acting world in the 1950s. His rugged looks and strong screen presence made him a natural fit for Western roles. Most successful roles. Conway's portrayal of Sheriff Clay Hollister stands out as his most successful role. His character, embodying the quintessential Western lawman, became synonymous with his career. Awards. While Conway did not receive major awards for his acting, his role in Tombstone Territory earned him significant recognition and a lasting legacy in Western television. Storytelling tone. Conway's performance was marked by a straightforward, authoritative tone, fitting for the role of a Western sheriff tasked with maintaining law and order. Cause of death. Pat Conway passed away on April 24, 1981, at the age of 50. The cause of his death was not widely publicized. 2. Richard Eastham, 1916-2005. Biography and career. Richard Eastham, born on June 22, 1916, was a versatile actor known for his work in theater, television, and film. He began his career on Broadway and transitioned to Hollywood, where he took on various roles in film and television. Most successful roles. East Ham's role as Harris Claiborne in Tombstone Territory is among his most notable. He brought depth to the character of the newspaper editor and series narrator. Awards. While East Ham's career was distinguished, he did not receive major acting awards. His contribution to the industry was more in the realm of consistent and solid performances across various genres. Storytelling tone. East Ham's tone in Tombstone Territory was informative and engaging, reflecting his character's role as a narrator and a key figure in the community. Cause of death. Richard East Ham passed away on July 10, 2005, at the age of 89. The details of his death are not widely known, but it was due to natural causes related to age. 3. Morgan Woodward, 1925-2019. Biography and career. Born on September 16, 1925. Morgan Woodward had a prolific acting career, particularly known for his character roles in westerns and dramatic series. His career spanned over four decades, featuring roles in both film and television. Most successful roles. Woodward is remembered for his roles in Cool Hand Luke and Dallas, as well as his appearances in Star Trek. His versatility as an actor allowed him to portray a range of characters effectively. Awards. Woodward was recognized with a Golden Boot Award in 1988 for his contributions to the genre of westerns. Storytelling tone. Known for his intense and often brooding presence, Woodward brought a depth and complexity to his roles, often portraying antagonistic or conflicted characters. Cause of death. Morgan Woodward passed away on February 22, 2019, at the age of 93. His death was attributed to natural causes. 4. Lyle Betger, 1915-2003. Biography and career. Born on February 13, 1915, Lyle Betger embarked on his acting career in the 1940s. He was known for his villainous roles in westerns and dramas. His Hollywood career spanned several decades, where he appeared in both films and television shows. Most successful roles. Betger is often remembered for his role in the film, The Greatest Show on Earth, 1952. His ability to portray antagonistic characters with a convincing edge made him a memorable figure in classic cinema. Awards. While Betger did not receive major awards, 
his performances were well regarded for their intensity and effectiveness, especially in villainous roles. Storytelling tone. Betker's on-screen presence was marked by a certain coolness and a menacing quality, fitting for the many villainous characters he portrayed. Cause of death. Lyle Betker passed away on September 24, 2003, at the age of 88. He died of natural causes related to aging. Five Wit Bissell, 1909 to 1996. Biography and career. Wit Bissell was born on October 25, 1909. He had a prolific career in Hollywood, known for his character roles in countless films and television series. His versatility allowed him to play a wide range of supporting roles, making him a familiar face on screen. Most successful roles. Bissell is remembered for his roles in I Was a Teenage Werewolf, 1957, and the original The Time Machine, 1960. He also had recurring roles in television series such as The Time Tunnel. Awards. In 1994, Bissell was awarded the Golden Boot Award for his contributions to the Western genre. Storytelling tone. Bissell's performances were characterized by their earnestness and dependability, often bringing a sense of stability and authority to his roles. Cause of death. Whit Bissell passed away on March 5, 1996, at the age of 86. He died of Parkinson's disease. Six Warren Oates, 1928 to 1982. Biography and career. Born on July 5, 1928, Warren Oates was renowned for his rugged portrayals in westerns and dramas. His career spanned from the 1950s to the early 1980s, and he became a cult figure for his performances in several films directed by Sam Peckinpah. Most successful roles. Oates is best known for his roles in The Wild Bunch, 1969, and Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, 1974. His portrayal of complex, often morally ambiguous characters was highly acclaimed. Awards. Though not widely recognized with awards, Oates' performances received critical acclaim and he remains a respected figure in film history. Storytelling tone. Oates had a gritty, intense acting style that lent authenticity to his characters, often portraying men grappling with personal demons or challenging situations. Cause of death. Warren Oates died on April 3, 1982, at the age of 53. The cause of his death was a heart attack. 7 Jack Elam, 1920-2003. Biography and career. Born on November 13, 1920, Jack Elam is remembered for his distinctive appearance and unique acting style, which made him a favorite in westerns and comedies. Starting his career in the late 1940s, Elam's career spanned over five decades, during which he became known for playing villains and eccentric characters. Most successful roles. Elam's most notable role was in Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968, where his portrayal of a rugged outlaw left a lasting impression. He also gained popularity with his comedic role in Support Your Local Sheriff, 1969. Awards. Elam was not widely recognized with major acting awards, but his contribution to the Western genre was significant earning him a place in the Hall of Great Western Performers in 1994. Storytelling Tone Known for his offbeat, often menacing presence, Elam brought a unique blend of intensity and humor to his roles, making his characters memorable. Cause of Death Jack Elam passed away on October 20, 2003, at the age of 82. He died of congestive heart failure. 8 John Denner, 1915-1992 Biography and Career Born on November 23, 1915, John Denner had a diverse career in radio, film, and television. Known for his deep, resonant voice and commanding presence, Denner played a wide range of roles, including villains, lawmen, and sophisticated characters. Most successful roles. Denner is perhaps best remembered for his role in The Boys from Brazil, 1978, and his extensive work in radio and television westerns, including Gunsmoke. Awards. While Denner did not receive major awards for his acting, his prolific career and versatility were well regarded in the industry. Storytelling Tone Denner's performances were characterized by a strong, authoritative tone, often bringing a sense of gravitas to his roles. Cause of Death John Denner died on February 4, 1992, at the age of 76. He passed away due to complications from emphysema and diabetes. 9 Angie Dickinson, born 1931. Biography and career. Born on September 30, 1931, 
Angie Dickinson's career in Hollywood spanned several decades, starting in the 1950s. She is known for her roles in both film and television, often portraying strong, independent women. Most successful roles. Dickinson's most iconic role was in the television series, Policewoman, 1974 to 1978, where she played Sergeant Pepper Anderson. She also gained acclaim for her performance in the film, Dressed to Kill, 1980. Awards. Dickinson received a Golden Globe Award for her role in, Policewoman, and has been nominated for several other awards throughout her career. Storytelling tone. Angie Dickinson's acting style is marked by a blend of toughness and vulnerability, which she brought to her groundbreaking roles, especially in, Policewoman. Note on current status. As of my last update, Angie Dickinson is alive. 10 Denver Pyle, 1920-1997. Biography and career. Born on May 11, 1920, Denver Pyle was a versatile actor known for his roles in westerns and as a character actor in numerous films and television shows. His career spanned from the 1940s to the 1990s. Most successful roles. Pyle is best remembered for his role as Uncle Jesse in the television series, The Dukes of Hazzard, 1979-1985. He also had notable roles in, Bonnie and Clyde, 1967, and various Western TV shows. Awards. While Pyle did not receive major awards, his role as Uncle Jesse became iconic and beloved by fans. Storytelling tone. Pyle's performances often exuded warmth and authenticity, especially in fatherly or avuncular roles, bringing a sense of heart and sincerity to his characters. Cause of death. Denver Pyle died on December 25, 1997, at the age of 77. He passed away from lung cancer. As our journey through the memories and milestones of these remarkable actors comes to a close, we're reminded of the enduring impact they've had on the world of entertainment. Jack Elam, John Denner, Angie Dickinson, and Denver Pyle. Each of them brought a unique flavor to the roles they played, shaping the way we view the classic era of film and television. As we bid farewell, we thank these icons for the memories, for the laughter, the tears, and the thrill of their performances. Their work continues to resonate, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the magic of cinema. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey. Remember to cherish the classics, as they are the timeless tales that continue to enchant us. Until next time, keep the legacy of these legends alive in your hearts and in the stories you share.